In last week's film breakdown of Austin Booker, I said this guy's going to be a phenomenal football player in one or two years. And that opinion was absolutely wrong. Austin Booker is ready to be an instant superstar in the NFL. This guy is such a great football player and you already see the tape. So Booker played a lot yesterday against the Buffalo Bills. But more than that, he took snaps against the first team unit as well as the first team left tackle. Right, the guy that's going to start for the Buffalo Bills. This was the first play Booker was in the game. And you already see him beat the left tackle. You already see him, as soon as he gets out of his stance, do a really, really good job with this pass rush move. He's going to first and foremost get the hands right into Deion Dawkins here. The hands are going to land into the chest plate. As soon as he starts to push Deion Dawkins back, you see him get right away from Dawkins by utilizing the pass rush move. He's going to turn the bull rush into a the arm over the top. And you see him actually beat the left tackle on this one. Now, the quarterback does get out of the pocket. But there are a lot of really, really good snaps from Austin Booker. Let's just get right into the tape. You got another really nice play on this one. So you're going to get a play action roll out towards the right. Which means the offensive linemen are all going to jump set. Essentially, what they're going to do is they're trying to sell play action. They're trying to suck in these linebackers. He has no responsibility within this play to actually make the play. Right? Or actually even be involved in any sort of sort of play but i love the effort here he's going to get off the block of the left tackle he's going to split the left guard as well and he's going to just chase this from the backside. now obviously he doesn't have an impact on the play but i love the effort to me booker looks like the real deal and i love the fact this guy gives so much effort but i want to show you guys some more pass rushing snaps that really stood out to me you got a really nice rep here by booker he's going to absolutely beat the left tackle on this one now keep in mind he only went up against the first team unit about four snaps uh, Josh Allen was only in there for one snap. You got the backup quarterback in for a couple of snaps as well with the first team offensive line. But at this point, it is now the second team unit. Again, only four snaps. He went up against the first team offensive line. But you do see him going up against second team guys. In the Hall of Fame game, one of the things with Booker was he wasn't going up against the even second team offensive line. A lot of those guys were third or fourth stringers. But this right here is the expected backup left tackle of the Buffalo Bills. And you see Booker just straight up beat this guy with the pass rush. To me, the one thing that sticks out with Booker is he has a real pass rush plan. Now, of course, he needs to finish on this play. He gets really, really close. He isn't able to actually bring the quarterback down. But you see him do a great job right out of his stance. He's going to hezzy with the hezzy. Hands land to the inside. And look at how when he lands those hands, he's able to, with the left hand, push with the right arm, bring the right arm over the top. And he straight up beats this guy pretty much right away. To me, that's impressive as hell. To me, these are the reps that I look at and say, Austin Booker reminds me of so much of a guy in Max Crosby. Just the way this guy gets out of his stance, the way he hezzies, the way he moves, the way he steps. To me, this guy is definitely going to be one of the best defense fans in the NFL. And it is 100% clear. You already see that right away. So in last night's game, Booker had a total of four sacks. I know statistically he doesn't actually get credit for four sacks, but to me, he's he's the guy, right? So you see this one, he does go unblocked. This one really doesn't mean a whole lot, but it is a stack nonetheless, and I do want to just show it to you guys. But this next one here really sticks out to me. Now, technically, he's not going to get credit for this sack, but tell me he did not force this sack. Tell me he is not the guy that basically disrupted the entire play. I mean, what he does here to the guard is absolutely incredible. The way he's able to pick this guy up, the way he's able to toss this guy, that right there is beautiful. And that pressure that he's generating right through the middle is what makes the quarterback feel uncomfortable. It's what allows the defense man on the other side, Hardy, to essentially get in there and make the play. To me, this one should theoretically go to Austin Booker, but he won't actually get credit for this one. But there are two he does get credit for. He actually ends up making both plays. And he also forces both sacks. You got this first one here. He's going to be going up now against the third string left tackle. Uh, again, keep in mind, he played a lot of snaps yesterday. And on this one here, he does a great job once again with the pass rush moves. Now, he doesn't get this guy the first time, but he does come back the second time. Great effort. And uh, the second time, he's going to end up getting home. But you see with this guy what he's able to do when he beats these guys. On this one here, once again, left arm's going to land. He's going to leverage that. He's going to use that hand to get this guy off the spot. He's going to pick him up. And he's going to just chase the, the quarterback down. He's going to essentially get in there and get the sack on the quarterback. This was first and 10. And he had another sack later on. This one was third and 12. And once again, he just does a great job with the pass rush move. He does a great job 
with the relentless effort and he you know utilizes the spin moves right so great job he does get chipped one of the things you're gonna have to realize with booker is because he's a good pass rusher you're gonna get a lot of chips right you're gonna get guys to double team him this happens to the best pass rushers in the nfl the great job right here initially after he gets past the tight end after he releases he's gonna end up in a one-on-one with the left guard and he's gonna just straight up spin back towards the left and you're gonna see he's gonna do a good job getting to the quarterback yeah, he's only going to get credit for two sacks, but to me, I love the fact he's able to get to the quarterback multiple times, and he forces a lot of pressure. Even on a snap-to-snap basis, if you just look at Austin Booker, what he does, play in, play out, there's just so many really, really good things. Just the way he leverages against guys. The fact that teams are sliding towards him in the preseason is crazy to me, right? And I don't know if this left tackle jumps here or, or what happens, but he definitely gets out of his stance way too soon. But Booker still does a good job as soon as he gets out of his stance. Again, look at the leverage. Left hand lands perfectly on the shoulder pad. He picks this tackle up. He straight up tosses his ass. And to me, he gets to the quarterback if the guard here does not help. Now, keep in mind, you're not always going to have a free guy to be able to help on that side. Because the three technique is on this side, that means you'll have the center and left guard essentially going to be going towards that side. So the left guard here is able to obviously help the left tackle on Booker. But one of the things the Bears will do as the season kind of continues, as Booker starts to play a little bit more, is they're going to line up the three technique on the same side as Booker. They'll put the guy right here. And what that is essentially going to do is it's going to make it, if you put a guy here, that the center now has to make sure that he helps initially with this guy, right? They'll initially have to step to that guy. And that means Booker will have a true one-on-one unless they chip. And teams are going to chip, right? They'll line up running backs to that side. They'll have running backs release in a way to that side where uh, it's meant to slow down Booker. Right? You don't want him to, to get a free release to the outside. So really, really nice thing to see from Booker. All right, you guys, I want to actually go ahead and switch focus. And I want to show you guys a couple more pass rush moves that this guy has. So we already seen the move in which he uses the inside hand to lift up offensive tackles. He'll put that left hand on the inside shoulder pad of tackles. He'll lift them up. He'll either chop down, bring the arm over the top, maybe even utilize a rip move with the right hand, right? It's a one-two counter. But I want to show you guys a couple more moves. So this one here is basically he's going to try to bend the corner. Uh, He's going to try to, you know, some people call it a ghost move. I don't know if I would say it's really a ghost move, but I I guess it technically is. So essentially what he's going to do is is he's going to start the pass rush. He's going to put the left hand up. You'll see it right there. And what that left hand is supposed to do is it's supposed to make this tackle think you're about to put your left hand into the tackle's chest. So the tackle is going to either try to lean into it or the tackle is going to try to strike you. And then what you do is you put the left hand up, you bring it down, and then you try to bend the corner. So it's it's almost like a ghost move. And uh, Booker already shows that he can do this. It's not super effective, but he still does beat the tackle, right? If, if the quarterback takes a couple more steps back, or if the quarterback's looking to the right, right? If his read is to the right, you can tell right now the quarterback is actually looking over here towards the left. So he can actually feel this a little bit better. He can actually see it a little bit better, right? He's able to kind of step up and, and climb the pocket a little bit. But if he's looking to the right, Booker may have been able to get to the quarterback. He may have been able to swat the, the football. Uh, but just wanted to kind of point it out that there's another pass rush move here. You got an even better spin move on this next play. Now, before we move forward, I want to just take a second to give a big shout out to the sponsor of this channel. That is Underdog Sports. And if you're not signed up with Underdog yet, what are you waiting for? Underdog is the best fantasy football platform out there. And their pick'em game allows you to win some extra cash. For me personally, I'm always thinking about matchups when it comes to Underdog. It could be something like the Cowboys quarterback's going to throw for over 20 passes. The Patriots are going to end up having at least one interception. Or maybe it's a Bears wide receiver is going to go for over 75 yards. Essentially, you make three picks if you get all of them correct. And depending on the multiplier, you can turn five or ten dollars into a hundred or four hundred dollars. A lot of my videos are demonetized, so I would appreciate it if you guys can support Underdog for supporting this channel and allowing us to continue to do film content on this channel. There's a link down in the comments below, so make sure you guys check that out and support this channel. And let's just get right back into this video. And we're seeing a lot of really good snaps already. You got another move in the in the toolbox here. Uh, It's basically going to be a fake inside move with a spin back to the outside. Keep in mind, you know, guys spin better to one side or the other. And it's something you'll realize if you guys continue to watch guys. But the best pass rushers can spin to the outside and to the inside, right? The best pass rushers 
can do both things. But I love the fact that we're seeing different moves with Booker already, right? On this one, he's going to fake a move towards the inside, and he's going to actually end up spinning towards the outside. And it's effective, right? You even see the left hand as he spins land on the back of that offensive tackle right there. I mean, that's an effective move, and this is pressure right here to the quarterback. Now, the quarterback does get the ball out. Quarterback's going to check it off to the running back. I'm not sure how much of the pressure that Booker gets to the quarterback forces the quarterback to get the ball out quickly. This is a two-minute drill by the offense, and the quarterback decides to check it off. I don't think you want to do that, but sometimes pressure forces you into that. So Booker does utilize a ton of different pass rush moves, but one of the things to note is, you know, what makes Booker good is not the pass rush moves. What makes him good is the way he utilizes his hands. So uh, I want to go back to a play from, from when the first team offensive line was actually in there. I don't look at some of these one plays that Booker had last night, but one of the things that makes him good is his hands. So Deion Dawkins is going to get his hands into Booker, and Booker's going to swipe. He's going to swipe the hands right there. Now, the run actually ends up to the inside, but if the running back bounces this towards the left, Booker would be able to make a play on the on the football because of the fact that he swiped away the hands of Deion Dawkins. And yes, he doesn't make the play, but I like the fact this guy uses his hands. To me, that's what's going to allow him to become a really good football player at, at this level. It's how he utilizes the hands. It's how he continues to develop the hands. Here's another play. You're going to see Deion Dawkins once again. It's a run play. Dawkins just has an out block on Austin Booker on this one. And what ends up happening is Booker's going to do a good job. First and foremost, doing his job, which is he has outside containment. But after he contains the outside, look at him leverage here. Look at the left hand. He has the left hand leveraged in. Once he realizes the runs to the inside, look at how he gets over this block. Look at Deion Dawkins right here struggling a little bit. You see Booker do a good job with the leverage. And look at him with the right hand right there, break the contact. It's a good job right there to be able to utilize another pass rush move. And it's against the run, right? But it's really the hands that he's utilizing. So to me, that's a really good job. Just kind of shows what this guy has in terms of being able to defend the run as well as get after the pass. Final snap right here. You're going to see Booker do a good job just being able to beat up on a wide receiver. Uh, you know, it's unfair when you put wide receivers blocking guys with great hands, guys that have great size. Booker is definitely a good football player. You already see that on tape. And I'm not trying to hype this guy up, uh, but I think the Bears truly, truly, truly have a, a guy that's going to become a top 10 defense man in the NFL. You can see it, you know, when, when it's right in front of you. And uh, I've been doing this long enough to know you already see way too many flashes from him. You know, if he's healthy, if he's able to continue to develop, and if he has a true passion and true love for the game of football, and he puts the effort into it, right? Because that's the one thing we can't really control is the effort that guys give. If guys want to be great, if they put the effort in, if this guy specifically wants to, to be great and puts the effort in, he, he's going to become great. The guy's a phenomenal football player. I mean, look at the effort right here, man. I mean, this is absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible right here. Beautiful job. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think about Booker. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time with another video.